So for this project, I'm going to be building an interactive simulator for this EPCO elevator part. This is an intermediate call station with an analog position indicator, so it makes a perfect piece to make a simulator out of. The first step of this project is installing the hardware, which is going to be connecting all of the LEDs and button contacts to the microcontroller. So all of the hardware is complete and I have cleaned up the panel and it looks really nice. The last thing to do is write the software and after about an hour of working, I got a finished product which works well. When it's plugged in and powered on, the one turns on. This simulator is quite straightforward. It will pick a random floor and simulate moving to that floor until you push the call button which will return it to the first floor. Once it returns to the floor, the light turns off just like a normal elevator, and then it'll start moving to another floor. Since this is the first floor, you can push either the up or the down button and that will recall it to the first floor. And when it is on the current floor, pushing the buttons just lights up the button just like it would in a real elevator. Now let's say you want to change what floor the buttons call the elevator to. So for instance, I don't want it to be the first floor. In order to do that, I first have to recall the elevator to the floor. So I push the button to bring it up. I can then hold the button in, in the direction I'd like to move it to. So if I hold the up button, you'll see it moves up. If I let go, I have now set the recall floor to the third floor. So in this case, when I push the floor button, you'll see instead of going down to the first floor, it goes down to the third floor. So if I decide to move the call floor to the very top, so on this case floor 4, this simulator will act exactly the same only with one different feature. The up button no longer works, because obviously you can't make an up call on the top floor. And likewise, on the bottom floor on G, it does the same thing. You can only push the up button and you can't push the down button. So that is pretty much it for this project. I'm really happy with how this simulator came out, and this piece will be down in the Elevator Museum as an interactive piece to enjoy. Also, a huge shout out to Nick for giving us this piece to put into the museum for others to enjoy. So I hope you enjoyed this little project of building a simulator out of this neat call station. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next project.